What is going on VFXers? My name is VK, welcome to Phenomenal Creations, the channel that helps you become better at post-production in Adobe After Effects, Premiere Pro, Fusion 16, and DaVinci Resolve. In today's DaVinci Resolve tutorial, you're going to be learning how to use a pack to create cinematic and professional camera transitions all inside DaVinci Resolve. It's super cool, let's go ahead and jump into the sequence uh, which I have put together that demonstrates this and then let's jump to the screen recording to see how this is pulled off inside DaVinci Resolve. Let's go ahead and jump into that. Alright, so the pack we're gonna be checking out is from R Visual. So the pack uh, we are gonna be playing around with today is called Camera Move Transitions for DaVinci Resolve. It's a really cool pack with a lot of cool transitions. Yes, it's a paid pack for 45 euros, but definitely stick around to the end of this video. So we're gonna show you how you can save even more on this pack. But before that, let's go ahead and jump into Resolve and see what all kind of cool stuff we can do with this. So in Resolve, we can see the five clips I have assembled from the uh, previous demo I showed you on the timeline. And once you have uh, installed the pack according to the instruction tutorials from our visual, this is pretty much what you're gonna see. You're gonna see a folder with, uh, with a bunch of other folders showing you different frame rates. Since this packs basically all the frame rates from 60 to 24. So before we uh, start, we're going to go check what kind of frame rates we are working with our timeline. For our example, it's 25. So we're going to go ahead and select the 25 FPS folder because that's the transitions for to match that frame rate. From here, we can start previewing in this little media pool the different transition uh, elements here. But we're going to be wanting to also to see them in on the big screen here. So not only on the small preview window. How we can go to here is basically that we go into the top viewer and this, uh, these little three dots and we're going to go ahead and select live media preview. From here, when, once it's activated, we can go ahead and hover around um, on these little preview windows and now we can see the full preview of those transitions. Really helpful when we want to see what kind of transitions we're working with. The next step, we're going to go to the edit panel and go down to decompose compound clips on edit and make sure that's activated. Why we, this is important is since every transition is basically a little folder of different elements. It has the preview files, the, the control fi files and also the sound effects. So basically by having this option obligated, we're gonna, when we drag and drop one of these files, it's not a single video file that's not manipulative. We can take and we can split it up to all the different files and then we can match their cut to the cut of the video and that is how the transition is gonna work in the end. So we have the sound, we have the control and then we can just go ahead and delete the top layer which is just a placeholder for the company's own images. So from here, we're gonna go to the playback Put the render cache to smart. This is a really cool trick uh, to have in your bag. Basically, by applying these kind of transitions, they can be pretty taxing on your system and basically can uh, cause to drop frames. So the DaVinci Resolve will create this little red bar to show you that, hey, this is not pre-rendered and it might drop some frames. So by having the render cache on a smart, basically what DaVinci Resolve does is it will pre-render in the background to ensure that you get a smooth playback every time. It's really cool and it's, re it's a really nice feature. Another thing we can do is go ahead and manipulate the properties of these transitions. So by what we're going to be do, what we're going to go ahead and do is basically we're going to go and isolate the control layer, the top layer in this case, by holding the alt key. So by holding the alt key, we can isolate just one of these clips. We're going to hit the letter D on our keyboard to basically to just to disable it for a moment, select the camera move uh, panel or a clip and go to the fusion tab and there we're gonna go select the first node and then we can see in the inspector panel we can see all the different parameters where we can basically control our transition 
So we can invert the zoom. We can play with the motion blur to activate it or deactivate it. We can change the motion blur quality. So basically just giving more samples, make it a little bit more smooth and nice. Then we can also play with stuff like invert rotation if we want to. And different properties come to different kind of transitions. But this is also a pretty cool one. If you have this kind of spiral thing, you can basically just uh, move around this little X there to change where the center pivot or the center transition is happening. That's pretty cool. Okay, we can jump back to the edit panel and then uh, re non-disable basically the clip and see what kind of results we are getting when it has pre-rendered and we can see that we have now pretty much altered the transition without doing any kind of hard work and animation. It's pretty dynamic and it's really good and effective to do it like this. After we have done this, now we could actually maybe throw a couple other uh, transitions to different cuts. I'm going to use a different transitions than in the demo example, but that's okay. It's cool to have some diversity. And now we're going to see here that we have created this pretty cool sequence in just a couple minutes. That's the beauty of this, that it's just a couple minutes and you can create this cool transition, this professional cinematic transitions all inside Resolve without doing any kind of animation. Okay, I promised you a way how you can start saving money with this pack. It's 45 euros, now it's on sale. But basically, if you use the code Phenomenal Creations, the first 30 of you, the first 30, will get minus 15% off that. So definitely head over to the link in the description. Check out the pack. It's really cool and it's really nice. If you edit on the Resolve, you definitely should have in this, this in your kit. And use the code Phenomenal Creations. The first 30 of you will get ex extra savings and... So that's really cool. Let's go ahead and jump into the end of the video because this was an awesome project. Thank you guys for tuning in. All right, so we have reached the end of this tutorial. Hope you guys did enjoy it as much as I liked creating it. Definitely give me a like and a comment if you found this helpful. Definitely give me a suggestion in the request form down below if you want to see something specific or drop it down in the comments section. Definitely consider subscribing to this channel if you never want to miss out on similar content like this. And hey, thank you guys so much for watching. I love creating this for you. My name is VK and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Peace out.